What's up, guys? Showtime checking in. Uh, this is just a little impromptu <laughs> play through of the bouncer. I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna basically just dick around and play the game. Uh, but I'm not gonna waste any time. Uh, let's just get into this shit. Uh, other than oh, let me just double check if I see if I can put subtitles on. Language selection. Subtitles, English, Japanese. You, oh, you can put J uh, Japanese dialogue? Nice. Um, sure, let's fucking... Uh, I don't know. Should I do J English or Japanese? Let's do Japanese voices. I think that'd be fun. Uh, English. Oh. And then... Yeah, let's go to story mode. Extra game. You can power it up characters. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this game is called The Bouncer on the PS2. I actually just picked this up a couple days ago. Or actually last week, I should say. Uh, I just went to a retro video game store. And, I don't know, I just kind of randomly just in the mood to just do a little super... You know, just a recording. So here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. ま、地上の受信施設から誘導信号が送信されます。Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this game. Yeah, so I haven't played this shit in years. And uh I am pumped. It didn't get well it it didn't get well received. But it was highly it was a very highly anticipated game that wasn't well received. It was made by Squaresoft. It was the first PS2 game Squaresoft put uh, put out. So that's cool. Thought that's pretty sweet. Ooh, guitar case. The graphics are nice, though. I, I remember being really pumped for this game, too, and slightly disappointed. I don't remember if I beat this game or I bought this game years ago. I mean, bought this or rent this is what I meant to say. I'm not sure. But I do remember playing it when it first came out. And I do remember slightly feeling like, okay, I get it. But back then it was like, uh, I think this came out in 2000. So the internet was still out and everything, and, but it wasn't as crazy as today. But magazines were heavily relied on. And I just remember reading about what magazines used to say. And then also like message boards, game facts, or other people were saying too. But this is like a... If you don't know what this game is, it's a... Essentially, it's a... A brawler game. Kind of like Streets of Rage. Made by Squaresoft on the PS2. Um, it's very, like, Final Fantasy-ish. Although it doesn't take place in any Final Fantasy universe, nor is it considered Final Fantasy. At least I'm, like, 100% sure on that. 
or 99% sure. Uh, oh, okay. As soon as I fucking say that, there's a goddamn cactuar on his damn arm. So, okay, I guess there's some... I think it's just a reference, though. I could be totally wrong, too. I don't think this takes place... It looks like Midgar, though, doesn't it? I almost want to, like, look up... Like, maybe it actually does take place in Final Fantasy Universe, and I'm just like... I, I didn't really do any fact-checking with this game before I started this. The cutscenes are awesome, though. I think it's cool that they let you hear Japanese voices. Oh shit, and I get to choose who I want to be. I remember this. Um, hmm. Scion, Volt, or Cow. I remember this. I think I used to be Cow a lot, but we're just going to be, I'm just going to be the normal guy first to kind of get used to the game, the most, most balanced dude. I'm sure this game is still fun. But yeah, it's like trying to be like Streets of Rage. Which is which is a cool idea. Oh shit. What did that do? I just press R2. Or is it just like Sick! Is that like a special? Oh shit. They, they don't even give you a tutorial. They just throw you into the game. See this 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 shit. This is back in 2000. Come on, bitch. Like I don't even know how to play. Circle is like that. Square is like you're I'm going to fucking die. Hold up. 14 out. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking die, dude. Can you switch on the fly? Uh, extra skills. I don't have any. X is sweep. R1's block. Okay, that's good. R2 is taunt. Don't do it! These guys look like the Elbed from Final Fantasy X. But this game came out before FF10. Oh god! No, I'm gonna die! Oh shit, uh, Volt is dead. That sucks. Bouncer points exchange. So, I could basically choose what I want. I only have 191 points, so I can't get anything. This is like Dark Souls shit, right? Of course I'd bring up Dark Souls. 
Life up, power up, defense, buster throw, personalized version of the old shoulder throw. Explosive donkey kick made by rolling to build up momentum. Wide range spinning squat kick. Okay, so powerful spinning attack, destroying all surrounding enemies. Okay, so I can upgrade shit. Save? Yeah, sure. I don't mind if I do. Saving data. Yeah, so this this game's pretty sweet so far. I have no problems with it. What? I was going to say, I hope I didn't skip that by accident. So I don't feel like I did. Make you want to think like Leon. The bouncer. He's like a cross between all the Final Fantasy characters and uh, also the guy from Kingdom Hearts, Sora. Okay, yeah, there so there are references of Final Fantasy. It's the fucking dog from Renoa in FF8. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot for saying that. There's so much, like... I'm pretty sure it's not the same universe, though. But there's, like, references all abound. わかった。急がないとな。サンキュー、オンに切るで。中央駅から三角本社に専用列車が出るらしい。いつ。30分後。時間がない。行こう。ふん。スローダウン。心を開いてきたみたいだな。彼女に関しては。ふん。まったく。
And is this just one player? Let me check this box here. This is one to two players. Oh, hey, look. His life up is, is cheaper. Let's do power up. That's what I'm feeling. You say it after every battle. But yeah, from what I heard, this game is just more so like... It's got a great great story. Or I, I don't know if great, but I guess it's known for its cutscenes. It's like it's it's like meant to be like a live action movie. Or it's meant to be like you're playing a movie or something. Uh huh? Hey, Black Panther. Let's get going. Pretty sweet. During these loading screens, it shows, I guess, quotes from people. <laughs> Runs the cops. Alright, well, I guess it's gotta be our boy Kao. Or Ko, whatever his name is. Hitching a ride, bitch. I think I remember used to be this guy a lot. When I would play through it. I think there's higher difficulties, like if you beat the game, maybe? I don't know, like I said, it's, it's the beginning, so... Game seems really easy right now. But I bet you if you die, it's like, that's it. Well, that was a short battle. Let me guess, it's gonna give you... yeah. I'm gonna save after every single one, just because, like... What if the next one is super hard, you know? Um, and I end up dying. So that way I won't have to redo that fight again, you know? So I think it's just smart. Japan! This looks like it takes place in Japan. I guess, right? I don't know anything! Maybe? I hope it does. Or it's just like a fictional universe made by Squaresoft. Probably that. Um, we're gonna go back to Cyan. I think I'll just continue forward as Cyan just for the sake of this playthrough. I don't know, because he's the main character, so I don't know. So they probably made him like the most well rounded, the lead character, so. Or it's from. They Although, it seems like you don't really control, like, walk around on a map and stuff. Now I kind of see why it got, like, it, it was like, oh, this game kind of sucks. Because you're not, like, adventuring. You're just, like, you just do, like, random fights every once in a while. Or you just do, it's like Final Fantasy Tactics, like when I first played Final Fantasy Tactics. I was really disappointed. I, before I go further, I love Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a fantastic game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but uh, it's kind of like that in a way where it's like at first it's like the fact you could explore the map sucked. You just go from battle to battle and that's kind of how this game is. Is You're just going from battle to battle. There's no exploration factor. That's the point I'm trying to make. I mean, 
But it's it's fun to check out games like these like every once in a while. Like, even even if it's not worth finishing, it's just like, eh, it's cool. So we're looking for Dominique. So a gang, a gang kidnapped someone. I like Volt's character design though. But yeah, he's definitely like the Final Fantasy secondary tank character. Like how, how like Barrett is. Or Steiner. Or Zell. <clears throat> oh, I remember this bitch. Oh, we got some jiggle physics on those breast That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 2,000 jiggle physics. Just a couple years before Resident Evil Remake with Jill's. Yeah, I feel like I just want to keep being this guy. So I can just like level him up. Focus on him. So that way it makes the game easier. Un unless like... There comes a point in the game where it's... Like you're forced to use the other characters. Then I'll be fuck. Then I'll be fucking screwed in that situation. Nice. Doesn't just go to a save screen. Oh, cool. All right, that's sweet. I was like, already? Come on, man. How do I use that special that I use at the very first uh, level? But I'm very surprised there's no tutorial. But this is also back in the day where like instruction manuals were mostly the important is like what you used. Um, I kind of want to start pretty low. I feel like I want to level up each thing at like maybe once. No, let's just keep going. Let's save it. So I want to like start experimenting with like new stuff at some point, like new new attacks, because it's already getting stale. But I'm playing this game mostly for the story, anyways. So I don't really, as long as I can progress, that's all I really care about. Oh shit. Boss fight. And like targeting of enemies is just kind of weird. Like, do you press L2 to switch? And I don't know what those dots represent under the enemy's name. Oh my god. Is that just like how many of the guards there are? I think that's what that means. Yeah, it's how many guards there are. Come on, guys. Are you gonna, are you, we got a gang banger. Like, what are you doing? I mean, she's a gang, we're a gang. Oh, fucking ass. God, I feel like they're not even helping me. Dude, come on, guys. Three against one against a girl. Sorry, ladies, but. 
come on. She must be a tough hombre. A tough bibliach. There we go. Oh, I can get a new thing. The old shoulder throw? I don't even know. Let me power up. And defense up. There. I wouldn't feel right if I didn't do those before I started, like, leveling up my statistics proper. Oh, boy! Uh, at least the loading screens aren't too bad, or the loading times aren't bad. Still not dead. She don't want to know, dude. Oh my god, dude. That's totally the music from Resident Evil Zero. When you see when you fight the leeches. What is that shit doing in my Squaresoft game? A lot warmer. Pretty action packed. I really want to like go to other people, but like at the same time, I want to like, just like level up and focus on one character so I can see more move, more moves and attacks. So like I kind of just have to choose a person. So I'd rather just be this guy. Oh my god! I actually hit an adventure area where I can move around. That's insane. Extra skills. I don't have any yet. Status. It's relatively easy. Idle screen, no thank you. Uh, huh. Well, that's cool. I guess it, a little bit of an adventure. Whoa, what just happened? Come and ride that choo choo train and ride it.
Oh yeah, this game's definitely cutscene heavy, but I am enjoying just watching these. It's like watching an anime. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, whoever here is watching. I do plan on premiering this. So I'm premiering it right now. So hello chat, it's down here. Whoever's here right now. Oh, they definitely love their job. Probably a little too much. I'll just let them fight him. Cyan Volku. Okay, so for forward and attack does something different. Yeah. Oh god. So yeah, basically triangle squ Oh jeez, dude. Chill out! Where's my crew? Triangle, square, circle, and X are all attacks. And then if you press forward, it does something different for each one. Like, that's circle. So there's like eight attacks. Sorry, I didn't really even, I didn't really go over this earlier. Like this is triangle, square, forward square, forward triangle, X. Oh, X has a little combo, two hit combo. Forward X, circle. Oh, that's like a double combo. Forward circle. Oh, you could combo with forward moves. So this is circle, circle. Uh, L1 doesn't do anything. R1 is block. L2 doesn't do anything. R2 is taunt, but it also did like a special move earlier when I first played it. When I first, the first area. There's no time to waste as I'm like going over all the shit. I'm I'm actually controlling this. Get out of here, Crash Bandicoot style. Oh fuck, going the wrong way now. That's bad. That's kind of like bad uh, design. Let's see here. L2 gets me off lock. From the guys? Fucker. How do I like regular throw? Is there a way to like regularly throw these guys? Maybe L1, L2? L1, L2 don't seem to really do anything. Oh fuck. I wonder if it's just like a straight up game over if you. Don't get through that. Man, imagine the speed run for this game. Not a really big cam good camera system going on here. I guess they're just like I guess the main focus is just having you just go go straight. Like it's not an adventure. Like I wish like uh, as you were adventuring like that. Enemies are just coming on the screen. That'd be a lot cooler, I think. But instead of like every time there's a battle, it like goes into a battle separately. Like it would it be uh, if it were an RPG. You know, I guess that's. Oh god, up and up the difficulty. <laughs> oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, oh, how do we make this? Let's just redo that run scene again, and how do we make it more challenging? Oh, let's just add in some blocks you have to dodge. But uh, yeah, going back to my point, uh, whatever, I mean, this it's a development team that the people have made Final Fantasy, right? So they mostly work on RPGs. 
So it makes sense. I just remember Squaresoft being like, like this crazy like company that crazy good company that did a lot of like RPG style stuff. Like that was like their main focus, and they revolutionized the industry for sure with a lot of their contributions to RPGs. I mean, this is back. Oh god, this is back during a day when not everything was or had RPG elements like it does now. Almost every game has RPG elements to it. Oh god, of some kind, like leveling up system or whatever, what have you. Bom 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 bom. Like I can't even move the camera. It's kind of stupid. Oh god. I wonder how long this game is. I wonder if I could beat this like in just one sitting. Not entirely sure. That's all I got for that? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna get the... We're gonna just get the buster throw. F rank! Is this game- this game's only like, maybe like, a couple hours, isn't it? I don't remember this game being super long. No escape. It was more like a graphical showcase of what Squared Soft wanted to do with the PS2, I believe. That's that's kind of how I feel with this game. What this is. What do you call those? A graphics demo. Yeah, now I think about it. I remember this game being short. Like the length of a movie, pretty much. I love that saying. This is insane. I wonder what this game's replay value is. Were you looking for us? Like, what are some incentives to replay this game? Oh yeah, how do I do my throw? It doesn't even tell you, does it? ES plus H? What the fuck is ES plus H? I don't even know what that means, dude. So you can combine attacks. So square and triangle together does that. Huh. I wish I had the instruction manual. I don't have one though. It's not in there. And I don't feel like looking at shit up. But I might have to. Why don't they have like a thing where I can just like... It tells me all that stuff. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna actually... The bouncer... <laughs> J 
triangles h squares m for middle high x is low for l circles jump oh l1 is es i think yeah Okay, so it's like, <laughs> you fucking just bailed. <laughs> Alright, so hold L1 and press one of the buttons. Yeah, congratulations, Ayesha. Of course, you got that job at Mikado, right? What a shut up, cocky bastard. Doggos. Charita bed to come there. Tada no bank into a gajanai daroga na. Oh, ora, hito zuri na wajin ikane da. Tamatteru. Iskaku to yakkai da. Yeah, shut up, cow. What a doucher. Doberman pinch my butt. Gonna be slide. Ooh, more L beds. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna save my girlfriend. Get out of my way. Oh, so that must be the grab. Yeah! Did it. So see it. And then square and triangle is uppercut. Oh, you do like juggle combos. That's cool. I respect that. My god! It... Ah! That was terrible. I was holding up the whole time. Oh, come on. Seriously? This guy's like a master of at avoiding me. I want more I want more doggos. Yeah, kick the doggos. Kick them in the face. I feel bad. I feel really bad kicking those fucking dogs. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to it. I am going to just grab some quick food to be right back. Saving complete. I just grab some quick cottage cheese. I'm a little hungry right now. That's right, cottage cheese. Low fat style though. Here we go. Get back in there. Saving complete. Wow, that was like awesome cutscene. Oh shit. This is our boy. It sucks. Oh, 
が上だからなお前は私によって倒され永遠に彼女を奪われるのさ That's why you're a typical crazy、uh, anime villain. Oh, you do have what it takes to save her? Yeah, this game, this game is kind of like pretty dull. Pretty dull. You gotta give Squaresoft credit for doing something new, though. That they've never done before. Fuck. I could die here, though. Dude, okay, this is not. This is kind of fun. I think what's dull about it is just like, it's just, it's just kind of just like an endless. You're just constantly go, just going from fight to fight. I think that's what's dull about it. Yeah, see the explosive donkey kick. Ah,、oh, this game's okay. But yeah, it was super hyped when it first came out and it was like highly anticipated. I remember actually being really excited for it. It was like trying to be a system seller. Like, oh, it's on PS2. Gotta get to PS2. I think Final Fantasy IX came out the same year. Pretty sure FF9 is a 2000 game as well. But it's funny, the only place I came really close to dying was the very first fight, because I didn't know how, what to do. I think that's pretty funny. And these text screens go too fast, or these loading screens go way too fast for you to even like, be able to read all of that. Ooh, she's cute. <clears throat> you can see her butt. Uh oh. Oh, that's not fair. It was like the, um, the dog enemy from FF7 when you fight Rufus. She's cute too, but. Mmm. Hey, look, it's Tekken Guy. So that's Dominique right here. <laughs> And that's Guy from Tekken. Yeah, you tell him, Tekken. Oh shit. Dude, just like j that easy? Sorry, sorry if you can hear me eating, by the way. I'm trying to be quiet, but it's cottage cheese and it's like mushy. So if you can hear me like squishing, I'm sorry. Oh, 
なるほど手こずらせるわけだロウの敵を討ちドミニクを返してもらう返してもらったのはこちら彼女は私の妹だ何何が欲しい今まで妹を守ってくれた令和しよう舐めるなどうしてもやるというのか<笑>いいだろう圧倒的な力の差というものを教えてやろう君たちは3人でかかってきたまえさらに腕をつけようかふざけやがって後悔するなよ Um, I have a feeling he knows what he's doing. Okay, let's definitely take a look here. Uh, plus square. Oh, that was Donkey Kick. Bitch! I'm trying to Donkey Kick you. Come on, man. Is this gonna be one of those fights? Got him. God, dude. Oh no! This is hard. Oh my god, I died. Game over. Oh shit. That was the first game over. Okay, so I guess no death run is uh, failed. Oh god, so it just starts you at the beginning. Tch. I sure will watch this. Pretty sweet music. The bouncer. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Um. Okay. Load. So you gotta go through all. Uh, I guess I could have skipped that, but. FGG. So you can like rank up your characters. There's probably like New Game Plus and all that stuff. Alright, Cottage Cheese is Cottage Cheese is done. Mmm, that was really good though. Alright, let's try this again. Ah, like that'd be cool if I actually could beat this like soon, because it is short. She didn't make it, but you gotta skip three cutscenes just to get to this fight. So this fight's like Rufus. This is the Black Panther. He even kind of looks like Rufus too. I gotta learn how to block. Damn it, I was blocking that time. I'm just gonna like... Just be... I'm just gonna cheese this. Oh, fucking shit! Okay, that guy's dead now. Alright. Good. That's right, bitch. No! No! Come on, guys, you gonna help me? Fake. Dead. See, fuck Game this fight. Over. 
This fight's dumb. God. I feel like my guys don't even help me. The bouncer. This can't be the boss of the... It's definitely not the boss of the game, but... Oh, it's a pain in the ass. Why can't you just, like, retry the fight? Why do they do that? I hate, I hate when games do this. God damn. Huh? <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. Holy shit. Woo. That was epic. I gotta skip this again. See, this is unnecessary. Just give me the option to retry. Oh, God. Can't stand this shit. I almost had him that time, though. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, come on, man! How'd you know? It seems like X is the best attack in this game. Aha, uh -huh, nice try. He almost hit me there. Shit. I feel like we're all, like, all doing better as a team. Wow, this camera's jank. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Aha! Nice. Let's do, um, did I do power-up before? Let's do increase- No, actually. No, no, can I take back? Undo, yeah. Let's do life up. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not the boss of the game. It's actually, like, a lot easier than I was letting it on. Maybe now the game is actually just starting to get, like, get more difficult? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you have. Oh shit, dude, chill. Chill with that move. Oh, you're gonna take her away again? Oh, my control. Oh shit! See? Oh, what the fuck? They're both still alive after that fight. That's dumb. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, weird one. It's like the start of Sino Gears. Oh man. Who's your sister, Dominique? Dominique. Boom, boom. It sounds like a Led Zeppelin song. Dominique. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little creepy. Just staring at her while she's passed out. She's like Sleeping Beauty. She's... A sleeping damsel. Wow, 
すべての断りをお学びください。妹様のために。It's like a weird soap opera. Okay, I'll be Cyan. Cyan Barzed. Uh -uh. Oh, escape from Midgar. So this seems like a, a midpoint of the game. Either that or it's like... The final scene. Ooh, chain bonus. Yeah, baby. See, uh oh, see, they're dividing the characters now. I have a feeling I'm gonna be, we're gonna be taking turns as each person. <laughs> yeah, you show him, bitch. You give it to him. This is a, this game. This is like a really good example of like the PS2 era. I wanted to explore more. Damn it! I guess I'll never know what else was in that goddamn kitchen. What? I wanted to explore more again. I, I wanted to check south. Oh shit! Am I going? Ba am I backtracking? Does this game actually, like, let you do that? Oh, it does. It didn't let me backtrack to here. Oh, what? I'm supposed to go here. This is so, like, unclear what to do. Or, like, was that area I was just in, like, a side quest area? That was the donkey kick. Oh shit. How dare you block my grab? You're gonna get it anyways. Bitch. Ground sweep, uh... Yeah, this game is definitely designed for like multiple playthroughs. I feel like it's more worth it to level that shit up. Like my statistics more so than like my move sets. But I feel like I want maybe like do one more defense, and then I could then I'll start then I'll try to get the next uh, actual move. This is where I came from, right? 
Oh, now it doesn't let me go in there? Was that a secret area? This, this actually, this place reminds me of Balam Garden from FF8. A lot, actually. Uh, how does this work? These look like elevators. Nope, nope. Okay, I guess I'll go in here. Since it's letting me, I guess. I guess. Oh, nice! Oh, I thought that was a mirror. Look at this office. I really like what you guys done here. Really great. Sorry, I gotta get out of here though. I don't have much time to talk with you. Uh. Okay. Sure. Um. What is this? Explore. So there is exploration. There, there is adventuring, but we're all the fucking enemies, you know. I'm like literally just running around like a madman, pressing pressing X on everything. Whatever. I'm just gonna keep going through doors. Okay, here we go. Shit. No, come on, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, so that attack is actually pretty good. Is that a fucking... That machine trying to kill me? I just realized that now. This whole time. That's kind of cool. Alright. Now it's starting to feel like TMNT. This is horrible AI. This is awful. Can't grab that. Hurry up! No! Okay, now he's like fucking Mr. Bitch. They're gonna run away. I said one more hit. Nice. Well, holy shit. Alright, I think I should definitely go for like... Oh yeah, rank up, bitch. I should definitely go... I think I should go for like the, the torpedo kick next. That seems like a good idea. Or do they just like choose... Who you play as the most? Is that your highest level character? Or did I choose him? I may have chosen him, I don't remember. Oh, it's this guy. It is Panther. The the shapeshifter. Yeah, so so far, if you're interested in like playing a game with that's like a movie, I guess. Like you're in the intro, kind of want to watch a movie or something, but you also want to play a game. This this seems to be the game. It's not bad. Well, what is this? Or if you want to like be on the computer and like read a lot. Um, project modifying the subject through robotomy surgery. The nervous system has been enhanced to assist in the completion of assigned missions. However, the stimulation of the fighting. Instincts tends to cause the subject's mind to degrade. Presently, the subject has been assigned as the leader of the Special Forces unit. Uh, so that's like the main dude, Mujetsu. Project M Special Forces. Oh god. The pre-production version of the mass-produced M-type. They obey their order. So these are the enemies. Even while using relatively simple and short commands, primary features of the GI is that it utilizes 
Same system as the n-type, testing shows that this unit exhibits almost the same results. In the right environment as the m-type, presently these units are assigned as elite members to the Special Forces unit. Type G2 is a lower quality model of the GI. These units are the most economical version in the G series. Presently these units are assigned to the Special Forces unit. Uh, mechanical guys, oh god, they stand up too. Uh, Mikado Corporation is an original service machine, easily manufactured and possessing a high degree of flexibility. It is one of the many popular products that Mikado, produce, uh, that Mikado produces. This unit is a flagship model for the Mikado Corporation. We intend to develop future machines based on the present popularity and potential of our current machines. The PD series. Uh, I don't think I've seen this guy yet. A project that clones a complete human from only a small sample of cells. By converting the internal organs into machinery, the subject's lifespan is extended to almost infinite proportions. Within the PD series, the unit that made the most innovative difference with the new technology is number four. Once the PD series project is completed, the technology will be transferred for use on Project A2. So Project A, this is Project A2. Uh, so, okay. A biological weapon created through bio-experimentation. Ooh, Resident Evil. The main goal is to rapidly enhance the abilities of the experimental subject. The subject is easy to handle, and it responds to simple orders sufficiently. We are in the process of expanding our research into new areas with these results. Ooh, it looks like Renoa, sister. What? Excuse me? Oh, it's your girlfriend. Oh, shit. That was pretty brutal. Upon evaluating the unanticipated side effects manifested by the PD series, we intend to broaden our research related to cloning. Our best example of this project is called DIA. The one drawback with our present technology is the treatment ages the subject cells approximately 10 biological years. Uh, we took a broader one drawback of the ages subject cells. Wow. So she's like probably like 10 years older now. Project A2, password is required. Another chick. Oh, it's Dominique this time. What the f <laughs> that was the best! He just fucking comes in and just blows the computer up! Just punches it! It's like, boom! That was great. That was my favorite part of the entire... This entire game so far. So I was just pressing triangle, pretty much, to get through that spot. Alright, I'm gonna hang tight onto this. So, you know what I think is stupid though? It looks like they don't give you the. From what it seems like, they don't give you the option to level up before a fight. So, like, let's say I'm doing like really bad on a, f on a fight and I don't see like. You know, I have all this extra stuff I've been saving. Like, it doesn't appear that I could use it. Maybe upon loading the game you can? I don't remember if that's true or not. I would hope. I would like to hope so. So that just like adds an element of risk and uh, wanting to or needing like feeling the need to spend the points as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying, dog? Literally. Bitch, why did I change it up? Just keep doing the X. Uh oh. Yeah, just keep cheese. Oh no! Well, that works. <laughs> just keep spamming X like a boss. Why not? Yeah, let's keep saving it up. I want to get. Oh, I already had the torpedo. Oh, I had the torpedo kick. Oh, that is the donkey kick, you idiot. Ground sweep. Look at all these things. I guess I'll just keep holding on to it. I sure hope I don't get into a 
a position where like I regret this and like really want to spend my points. Oh, I almost thought I saw a nipple. Oh, that's the chick, dude. That's your Caldea girl. She's 10 years older, though. That's why he doesn't recognize her. She's a mature woman now. A Black Panther, more accurately put. You don't recognize her, even though, like, come on, dude. I know, I would be able to recognize, like, my girlfriend if she's ten years older. That's clearly her, because she even said, "Well, you don't recognize me." So that's that Caldea. Interesting. So far, that's like the deepest aspect of the plot yet. How's this guy again? This guy kind of reminds me of a familiar solid, like, uh... Psycho Mantis a little- just a little bit. Oh, Volts! What's up, boy? Easy name to remember. Dude, he totally looks like Sora from Kingdom Hearts, mostly. The boys are back in town! Yeah. You crazy motherfucker. Calm your titties. Do you think I plan on losing to you? Yeah. No. Oh, oh. So yeah, it's starting to actually get kind of fun now. Like now that I know what I'm doing. Like, I have a better understanding of the controls. That's cool. I gotta see if the block um, hurts you at all. Like, is it like Mortal Kombat? Where like, it hurts you just like a little bit if you block? Oh, cool. I like did nothing. Crown sweep. I kind of like... I want to get these moves, but like at the same time, it's like... I mean, I'm surviving, right? So, if I'm surviving, I don't feel like I need to level up my statistics. Oh, I, you know what I could do? I could rotate my saves just in case, but that's... Rotating saves for losers. Oh, that fight was kind of fun, actually. Dominique. 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 The Japanese accent. Oh, she moved her lips. Of course, she's got that, uh, freckle or the beauty mark under her eye, like Cindy Crawford. Shion. I love listening to Japanese voices. This is more fun. This is way more fun, I think. I think a lot of people agree with me too. It's the first time you ever hugged me. That's my voice acting. Could we save the love scene for later?
I think that was... Yeah, that looked like the picture in the back of the box. <laughs> you better be. So what was the motivation for kidnapping her? I'm sure they already explained that. I just didn't pay attention. Get your hands off me, you creep! You sure are. This is my bitch. Hands off. I'll fight you for it. Oh, there's the tall boys. Tell me what to do. Bitch. You're my bitch. Oh God. This guy has a lot of health. I don't like this. Dude, don't hurt her. Okay, this seems like pretty hard. Oh, Jesus. I should probably... I'm like just like desperate to kill this guy. And that's... And I think that's like a bad way to... To go about this. Dominique's dead. That's game over, isn't it? Wow, this, okay, let's see if I can actually, like, maybe I should level up, if I can. Maybe I should, like, bring up my life or my power or something. And if I can't, if I can't, I don't like that. I, I, I do not like the, uh, oh, there's versus modes and survival modes. If I cannot level up before that fight, I, I do not like that, that game design. I don't. And it, I don't. Doesn't seem like I'm I'm able to. I'm not a fan of that. Like, dude, all all that shit that I've been like saving up. Like, what if I want to use it for this fight now? You know what I mean? It's like now I can't do that unless lets me do it here. No, dude, that's kind of lame. That's the biggest downfall of this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say they don't let you do that. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. Kind of bullshit. But I guess at the same time that that kind of gives you it's like a risk reward system. It gives you a sense of like not just descend the rocket tower. Oh! Do I just like... Can I just like run away from these guys? Oh shit. Oh, okay. Fuck that. I can just run- I can just run away. Cause, you know what, what's the- what's the point of being a man and fighting? Just be a big coward. I don't want to fuck this guy up, though. <laughs> the guy is just standing there, like, watching. Come on. Alright, let's go. Actually, I kind of want to kill one of these guys. Ah! Maybe not a good idea.
Ah! I just want to kill one. Damn it. I gotta, like, learn, like, when they attack and shit. So, okay, so the, the incentive is you get the BP, obviously. That's, like, one major incentive. I don't know, like, when to block. That's the biggest problem against these guys. Well, that was done properly. That was a good block. A good block. Just, like, remember to do your blocks every once in a while. Oh, that was overhead, and that did nothing in terms of blocking. Okay, so you can't just block every fucking attack that you want. Because <clears throat> that would be easy, right? You just hold the R1 button. So that adds some strategy. Oh, regular dudes. Yeah, the X button is definitely... Like the one of the best moves. That's right, bitch. I, I imagine I have to go down that way, right? Or can I backtrack? Well, I can choose which way I want to go. Ha! No! Oh god, there's two of them. Run away! Oh god, this was a dead end. Fuck, if I die, will it take me back to the beginning of this? Oh, bodyguard man! Oh, did I throw him off? No. <laughs> Mortal combat, finish him. I feel like I like want to knock him off the edge. Yeah, you know, I kind of remember this part, like playing this as a t as a teenage teenager. I wonder if death would start me at the beginning of this se whole section. It probably would. I'm gonna go ahead and say it would. There's no way of healing. Camera sucks. Well, that wasn't fair. <laughs> she just, she just fucking books it. She's just like, screw this. I'm going home. I think I'm just gonna run away from most of these guys. Actually, I don't really care for the BP, for the BP points. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care for the BP points. Uh, that's the only reason why I think you would really want to stop and fight everyone. Yeah. So it's it's based off of when you save. That's how this game is set up. There is no such thing as a checkpoint. So like if you had if you had no memory card, you're pretty much fucked. Unless you're like god tier at this game. Well, that's death number two on this section. I do feel though I am getting towards the end of the game. And once you beat it, it probably unlocks like a new game plus or extra mode. And that's just kind of how you level up your, like gives you, that, that gives you incentive to want to keep leveling up your character kind of situation. So yeah, I'm just going to run from everybody. Just see how that goes this time around. Cause I bet you they're going to actually put like a boss at the end. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Uh... Come on. It's annoying how it always engages them when you get close. 
I feel like I want to fight this guy, but like, he'll still hit me and it'll be stupid. Just say fuck it and just go. Just go. Maybe the humans I'll fight. The robots though? Fuck that, dude. It's hard to predict when they attack. Oh, don't go that way. Here, 33 BP. Just like the gas station. Nice camera angle. And I can't even change the camera angle. I'm stuck with what it gives me. Bitch. One more hit, and there we go. 50 BP. That's right. Uh, okay, yeah, back here. Oh yeah, this fuckface killed me. That's right. No! Oh, God damn it, I should have blocked. Oh, don't touch my bitch! Uh, uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> just, just run like a coward against every enemy. This is fine. I'm totally cool with this. And I was just saying earlier, like, remember? I was like, how cool would it be if there was, like, a section where you're just adventuring and the enemies kind of come along as you go along, you know? Well, this is, this is it. <laughs> but what do I choose to do? Run away from everybody. There's not much incentive to kill those guys other than BP points, which I don't know how much trouble that's going to get me in later that I didn't do that. So maybe I should, like, rotate my save. Man, yeah, fuck, I'm gonna kill this guy. So just don't spam the attacks. 75. Those guys are okay, those guys aren't bad. Oh, I beat it. Floating my horizontal flying back kick. Wide range spinning squat kick can chain in multiple kicks. Horizontal flying back kick using both legs. There's really not that many more moves left. If you think about it. There's only four four more to go. So yeah, I mean yeah, if I decided to like kill try to kill every Oops, I, f I was supposed to rotate my save there. Um, but, but rotating saves are for losers anyways. Screw it. Sion. Nice. Good catch. <laughs> Dominique. Dum dum.
Oh, this person. Yeah, let go. <laughs> yeah, I want Cyan's dick, not yours. Your dick has herpes on it. Dominique. Okay, this looks like the guy from uh, Twilight Princess. Or no, 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 Skyward Sword. What's that? What's that dude's name? You know what I'm talking about. The guy from Skyward Sword, the bot, the enemy dude. What's his name? Let me. Just... Hold up, I'm looking up the guy from Skyward Sword. Girahim? Yeah, it's Girahim, right? Yeah, Girahim. He looks like Girahim from Skyward Sword, for sure. He's got that same look. And also at the same time, he looks like Scissor Man from Clock Tower 3 uh, on the other side of the coin. <laughs> Pretty funny. Which I actually just played that game. That's right, I get the first hit. Yeah, <laughs> so far you're a little bitch. Oh yeah, what was the... Um was extra skill. Ground sweep. Oh shit. Oh, he got me in the face. What an asshole. Oh. Well, you want to settle down there, buddy? That's right. God, we got each other. Yeah, so that was the new hit, the new attack I just got. That thing is great, actually. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to level up my power. I feel that's good. Okay, so good. I, I was actually afraid this game was gonna be super short. Uh, but it appears that it goes on longer, thank god for that. So I was like, just hopefully this game's not that short. Like, but I definitely feel it's coming to an end soon. Oh no, there's like five of them. It's a lot. Dude, stay- <laughs> Oh god, there's a, there's a theme of gangbanging in this game. They all want it. They all want a taste of Dominique. Are you serious? Oh, these. Yeah. There's like a bunch of models of those. What do you want? I'm right here. I can't. I can't make you a sandwich right now. Nor can I fluff your pillows. Oh shit, she's a robot? What is this? Oh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Put up your dukes. Or else. Oh, she's on my side, okay. At first I thought she was going to come after me. Oh no. <laughs> what 
Well, that was short lived. Oh my god, okay, we get it. She's a sex puppet to all of you guys. And now we know she's a robot or a cyborg. So she has no feelings when she does it. So it's easy for you guys, I get it. Doragon's dead sister. He's my favorite character design, I think. Oh shit. Look, he's got um studs. Before studs were cool, right? This is 2000. Okay. Well, the plot thickens. I like how it's called bouncer points. So yeah, we're bouncers. We're, just, we're bouncers at a, at a bar. All right, what's the objective? Defeat all enemies. Shit. There's no like evade. Like where you can just like roll away. That one's dead. Okay, it wasn't a bad. That wasn't hard. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, life up. I feel like I definitely want to, like, invest a little bit into my statistics right now. Um, because, who knows, boss of a game coming up, maybe, perhaps. You don't know what this game. You just don't know what this fucking game. Booby jiggles. Oh, there's always time to play, baby. Especially Sion. There's nothing you can do. Echidna. Shit. Defeat Echidna. 
Volt is dead already? Are you kidding? Are you you're kidding me, right? Okay. Well, that didn't go well. Okay, so I think it might be wise just just to go after her. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Worst part of the game. Dying. Having to reload again. Oh, come on, you could do it. <sighs> Takes forever. And then you gotta fu and then you gotta skip all the scenes. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna go after Echidna. That's my strategy. Man, that battle fucking whooped my ass. Uh, except for beat you, or beat us. Good start, good start. Oh, great start. Nice, nice. Oh, I thought I would have gotten a grab on her. Uh, come on! I can't connect to any attacks. This is this is stupid. I'm sorry, guys, but this one, this one feels stupid. Yeah, let me just uh, go a little bit quicker. God damn it! This stuff, this makes me not want to play anymore. Having to constantly reload the game. No joke. Kind of sucks. But that's what it is. That's that's how it is. That's how I feel. Like, it, it kills the, um... It kills the... I guess the, the, iner the inertia that was created. Like to get up to that point, and it's just like, oh, you die now, so you have to go through all this. It's, it's busy work. It's busy work. It's unnecessary. Like, why are you making me go through all these menus and jump through all these hoops just to get to the same spot? There's no, there's nothing stopping me. Just let me choose my character and then fight again. Like, I was I was holding block. That's going to be my best move. Yeah, by far that's going to be my best move. No, no, no stop. Get me out of here. Come on, Volts. Somebody else do something. This camera sucks. Oh, this is right there. Cheese it. Yes. Okay. I decided to cheese it. Oh, yeah. D rank. Nice. Okay. So there was actually some strategy involved. It says a clear number on there too, so like that it, it seems like a game that was designed around multiple playthroughs. <laughs> oh no, launch launch preparations.
This is like Star Wars. This cutscene's pretty cool, actually. I like it. It's like, very suspenseful. Plot thickens. Nice. Squaresoft is always known for its amazing graphics in games, that's for sure. Again, Resident Evil Zero music. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, so the ending is very, like, Star Wars-y. I feel like I'm coming towards the end of the game. Like, this is like the final, like, showdown or something. Or it's just, we're just getting close. a girl. Uh, I will. Uh, oh, that means I have to be one of these dudes. Uh, I'll be Volt. How it looks like Laguna though from Final Fantasy VIII. All the characters look just like characters from FF8, man. I feel like I'm probably gonna die and have to redo this. Yeah. Okay. Game over. So I'm gonna have to redo that as C Scion or Sion.
That's for sure. Um, I'm gonna make a uh, cow fly the the, the gosh darn uh, plane. Extras better than life. Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> Part of me kind of wants to switch it to English subtitles. Just to hear them, but screw it. We gotta go, we gotta commit full Japanese. Full Japan. Jeez, man. Look at all these skips. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this! Yeah, okay, so don't die in this game. <laughs> he looks like Laguna. Typical crazy anime character. And he's your Zell, and then he's Squall. So this game definitely is, is like. I'll finish you off. I'm gonna beat you off. Get it? Beat him? Because it's a beat him up game. God, you pervs. Oh, I just realized something. Why it might be helpful to just not invest in one sole character. Hold on, one more hit. Don't do this bullshit. Like, a reason to not invest in one sole character, I just realized, is that they can help you on the side. And if you're not leveling up those other characters, they're not going to be very much help. So, yeah. But at the same time, it only matters, I think, like, the most important is the character that you can you control. Because if your character dies, then it's game over. Oh shit, is he gonna get obliterated? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, he just straight up fucking just died. <laughs> he just got blasted, dude. Oh, why don't you take it? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Hey, it's the cyborg sex queen. It's a game of cat and mouse. Are we gonna have a space station level? That looked like some uh, pre rendered backgrounds. I smell a spaceship level. Oh, hey, it's, it's Nakia or whatever her name is. No, it's probably just best to use the same character over and over. For one- <laughs> My favorite- Oh! Got a fighter as a human! 
Okay, so it is good to get, like, the special abilities. I mean, look at how overpowered I am now, you know? Like, I feel like I'm just, like, whooping ass. Like, getting those extra abilities is great. But... Leveling up your character is very important as well. And I'm going to go ahead and do life up. Has it always been a red background in the save screen? I don't know. She's hot. All the girls in this are, cu are cute. Ten years, not that much. I did not see that coming. You bastard! Absolute power. I don't know if I... Dominico. Is this an end boss? <laughs> it sounded like he said dragon. Oh, I got the first hit. You didn't. Oh, this music's pretty dope. Damn, dude, I'm just whooping ass. See, this is this is exactly why you just focus on one character. <laughs>
Oh shit. Every character in this game looks like a character from other games. Oh shit. Like, Sion, or not Sion, um, Dur Dur Duragon looks like uh, Ra Raiden from Metal Gear Solid, I think. Cleaning up. Yeah, the, these these uh one one enemy boss fights are pretty easy. Oh wow, blood, huh? I wonder if that's supposed to be har a harder fight than it actually is. I don't know. That fight is pretty easy. <laughs> Their teeth are like, have no separation. I, I like that art style. I remember when I was a kid. There's no way that was the boss of the game. Yeah, there has to be more. My controller is vibrating like crazy right now. Sixty-eight. That's great. Oh shit. Free floating in space. Uh Yeah, he reminds me of Raiden. Totally. So they're brother and sister. Is that right? I'm still not sure of the motivation of stealing her. Because I am an idiot. Other than that she's his sister. Are you gonna kiss? She's a robot, dude! Wow. 
one year ago. And we're back at home base. Okay, so we're back to the beginning again. Who is this? Oh. <笑><笑>ペンダントはつけるもんだろう。嬉しい。ありがとう、しよう。そういや、言ってなかったな。何を？ありがとう。Well, nice little casual ending. I'm assuming that's the ending to this game. Okay. Well, I have to say, <laughs> I get now why it was very poorly received. Um,. This is a very nice credit song, though. Okay, um, so... Yeah, that game was really short. I beat, I beat it in two hours. Um, that might as well have been my first time playing it. Because uh, I don't remember anything from when I was a teenager I originally played this. This came out when I was... This was like 19 years ago. So... 2, 12... This game came out when I was like 13. It's fucked up. Huh. But yeah, I was I, uh, but uh, yeah, dude, that playthrough was so fast. And there wasn't really much... Like, going on with this game. Like, there's not really... It doesn't really feel like there's very much incentive to level up your characters. And to use them on enemies. Because, like, like, there's not really much going on in terms of game, like gameplay, I guess. Um, nothing really makes me want to go back and play it at a higher level. Uh, maybe after the credits, if it unlocks something, maybe there's going to be some replay value in redoing, replaying the game and, and stuff, but I just don't see the fun in that other than just going through the game like a total like, Hulk Hogan. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see what if I unlock anything, or or if like your character's development transfers over to versus mode, or that other mode that was there, um, the extra mode. Maybe you could check what extra mode is a little bit. Um, maybe I can look into that just a little bit. But uh, yeah, uh, this I could definitely see why it was poorly received. For sure, this is good music. Very nice. So what did you guys think of this game? It had a good story. I, I, I gotta say that. It had a good story. But... Yeah, the gameplay was very lacking. It, like, like I was saying earlier in the playthrough, it, it, it seems like it was more of a, te a tech demo. That, that's, that's, that's the word that I'm trying to come up with. It's, it's more of a tech demo than anything for the PS2. It was a way to get everybody excited for a new Squaresoft game to show off the graphics. Because I, I can imagine at this point, uh, anybody that actually like played this game back then was at least kind of way more excited now for fa the next Final Fantasy game, which is Final Fantasy X. And if you ever played Final Fantasy X, you'll see that um, it takes a lot from this game graphical-wise. Uh, so, it's as if, I don't think it's the same, I don't, 
it almost feels like the same engine as Final Fantasy X. Like, they, they share the same game engine, almost. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it could be a cousin of the game engine, or not, or just like its own thing, or it's just shared, it's the same exact one, I don't know, but they seem similar graphically. Control-wise, though, obviously different. Um, yeah, graphics and s graphics are probably the best thing about this game, honestly. Uh, it tied a lot into Final Fantasy in terms of like like style, I would say. Like they, they heavily they, they created like a new IP uh, with that, that was heavily influenced by Final Fantasy's art style, specifically Final Fantasy VIII's. Because uh, this did come up before Final Fantasy X. Um, so, it did. So, yeah, I mean, graphics were the, the graphics are the best thing, uh, from what it, what it seems. Uh, story, I'd say, was okay. It, it was your typical story of damsel in distress, needing to be saved by... You know, her boyfriend and her friends, or his friends, etc. So, nothing special there. Uh, it, it's a Japanese brawler. I think there's a lot of potential in this game that they didn't do. They, they should have put way more scenes in that were similar to the robot scene, where you're going through the different areas and fighting all the different enemies. They should have put in more areas like that, I think. Uh, of or make it more like, like actually like Streets of Rage, where there's different levels and you kind of just go through areas and there's checkpoints and that would have been fun. Like I didn't like the save system at all. As far as this game's challenge goes, it's it's a little rough at some some areas, but the hardest part was the robots, <laughs> the the robot line. However, you just run past all of them, so it just like eliminates that that sense of dread or fear from that, but the, ga the game's difficulty is pretty easy. I think anybody can pick up and beat this game, honestly. Oh, what's going on here? Cute puppy. Dominique. Yeah, that dog is a reference to FF8, it looks like. I forgot the name of the dog in FF8. I know it's Renault's dog, though. Wow, she's just an angel, isn't she? <laughs> but yeah, graphics best thing, story is subpar, is okay. Um, nothing special. Gameplay ha uh, definitely has a lot of potential to be better. Oh, the, the secret... Why couldn't he have had the hood on? Why, why couldn't I have had the option to wear the hood? He looks like a badass, that hood on. Uh, is this Dominique again? Jeez, Dominique, go home. Oh, is this when they first met? But as that. What is a cute girl like her being like homeless in the rain like that? Is that the sick the sick girl from the beat from that one cutscene? And that was like kind of after that. I'm guessing. Game cleared, clear one. Okay, now we're gonna see uh, if it's actually like, worth it. To, to continue playing this game. Kind of see like what it's... We're gonna explore a little bit into uh, what the game is post beating it the first time. So let's take a look. Uh, there's versus mode, survival mode. I'll check those out a little bit too just to see how they are. In the very beginning. So let's first see what happens. Um, Oh, you just can't even load it. What? Not applicable. 
Okay, so like it's just how do you continue to clear throughout? Oh, play story mode again from the beginning using powered up characters. Requires data save. Oh, so you just use this. Okay. All right, let's check this out. So let's see what happens. So, I mean, that's the story. Is, is there, I don't think there's anything more to the story. It's pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so yeah, it's New Game Plus. You have all your abilities from before. You're the same level as before. Okay. Wait, what is the defense? 135 out of 135. Your defense can break? Anyways. So what do you do? You just... Everybody's the same. Okay. Dominique. So yeah, you just... It's New Game Plus. That's pretty much what this is. So you just keep playing through the game and leveling up your characters to as much as you possibly can. I guess we're back in 2000. Why not? But are the enemies harder? They seem the same. Ah! Ah! Shit. I mean, they seem the same difficulty. I'm not going to save over that. Okay, so it's being it's registering as clear one. Oh no, Dominique's getting stolen. Yeah, okay. So this is just your basic new game plus, nothing special. Uh, not much to really do. Okay, so now, but then there's verses. So this game you can do two players. So that, I guess that technically adds to replay value. But definitely see why it was not okay. So I definitely see why it wasn't received very well. Um, it was a very short game. The only replayability that they they offered, from what it seems, is you could play at the second player. Uh, and uh, if you haven't done so the first playthrough, and you could just keep continuing to level all, all, all your characters to max. Um, and then I guess then they have two other modes. Um, versus. The last one standing. There's team battles. Okay, good. So you go against computer. So let's just try one of these. Fuck it. Round time, two minutes. Let's just do one minute. One, two rounds. Okay, cool, all right. So, and this is two players. Okay. You could, and there's unlockable characters as well. Looks like a lot of unlockable characters. Um, let's be... Got, we gotta be Dominique. Three different versions of Duragon. Dude, we gotta have all the all the hot bitches. And <laughs> and Mugetsu. Okay, cool. So then you can choose. Let's just do random. Ooh, that's a small stage. Let's go. We don't have all day. Yeah.
Yeah, really. Here we go. Ready, fight. Oh, whoa. So, okay. Multi it's a multiplayer game where you can, like, kind of just spend time just playing against your friends and shit. It's like Super Smash Bros. So that just puts me out, huh? Well, I did absolutely awful. Well, I got one more round. So yeah, ten bucks for the, or ten bucks for this game? Awesome, great, great deal. Sixty bucks for this game? I'd be pissed. I'd be like, wow, I. I spent sixty dollars on this. Now, if you have friends and you're like all into this shit, Ready, fight. do I have like? I don't have any extra skills. And like we were like, like, like let's say I had, I had friends th that were into this game, and we all had a good time. With it. Okay. I got one hit in the entire time. That's hard as hell. Then I could see being fun. But like this... I don't know. I'm going to be straight up honest. I feel like the gameplay is a little clunky. And like very clunky. And execution is very difficult. There's a, there's a lot to be desired in this game for sure. I don't know, it's still fun checking it out, though. Oh, what? There's more. There's no evade. And to me, that's annoying. I don't- I don't stand- I don't stand a, a chance to win. Like, I guess I'm just like really bad. I, well, I don't. I don't know how to use Dominique though. This kind of sucks, honestly. Winner, <laughs> Oh, I thought they all knocked them each other out. I thought I put it for two rounds. What is this? Like, they're blocking every time! It's just dumb. Uh, okay. I had- I, I stood- I stood no chance. Having the same attack. This is pretty bad. I'm not even gonna lie, it's pretty bad. Is it over? Yeah. Okay, so that's like. That's not that great. Honestly. That's, that's not gonna. This is not gonna keep me coming back to this game. There's team battles, that's kind of cool. Now what's survival mode? Compete to defeat as many opponents as possible before your selected fighter stamina runs out. This mode is ideal practice for those with powered up characters. Okay, so now there's some incentive to, to continuously level up your characters. Got it. Okay, so my character is D. Or... So let's just use him just for the sake of like, He's my guy that I powered up. 
So I think that even carries over into the, the, the team battles too. Which is probably why. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's what I was just talking about. <laughs> Yo, I'm right here. Asshole. Okay. This is like way cooler. I like how they have this this in here though. <clears throat> I don't know how good it's gonna be, but nice. Just see how far I can get. With one life. You win. Oh, okay. So actually never mind. I thought I was gonna go through like a level. It's the same shit over and over again. It's like it's like the main gaming all over again, except for there's like special challenges. Oh, I can just keep going. Oh, I didn't realize that. <clears throat> yeah, this game's not the greatest. It's got. Uh, play it for the fucking story, you guys. That's all I gotta tell you. Play this game for the story. Other than that, it's like... But don't buy this game for like... Any more than ten dollars. I don't fucking say. TMNT is way better, dude. Turtles games. I don't recommend playing those. This game felt like it feels like it would be a good arcade game. If they up the difficulty, this game would make a really good arcade game. Ready, fight. But that's but that's about it. Uh-oh. Yeah, like a full $60 game, though. I don't know about that one, guys. I'd be pissed. Oh, yeah. There's, there's not much substance. There's just... There's not very much depth to the combat. It's very it's very slapstick, very arcade-y. I, I actually wonder if this game was an arcade game. Because I would definitely, like, pop in some quarters to play this. Are you serious? Come on. Really? Where are they? Oh, this sucks. Um... What? Okay, so that's where I was. <laughs> that's where I killed them. Is he right here? Are you kidding me? Good, nice camera. Okay, the camera sucks in this game. Awful. It's just not good. Jeez, dude. Okay. And that's... And that's a win for me. How far can I go? Oh shit, this is this is probably where I die. Oh god. Yeah.
Shit. Can I beat this survival stage? Probably not. Hmm. So those enemies are the most like resident. Oh god, I'm so dead. Nice block. Yeah, with chip with with chip damage. I thought I was actually gonna die to that one. Surprisingly enough. Surprisingly enough, I didn't. Uh, what is that dude? Oh, that's the boss guy. But no, it's not. <laughs> Fucking get down. Oh, I have one hit left, and that's it for me. You know what, I'm okay with that, because <laughs> I'm over this game. Uh, okay, for the sake of, of this, we gotta put it in. We gotta end this playthrough with pop put in the name show. If I ever can find it, oh. Show! Sure, I'll save, because I probably like leveled up and stuff, right? Whatever, we'll just save to another spot. Okay, well... I believe that's it. Yep. That's gonna do it, guys, uh, for my bouncer playthrough. This is, this is definitely a spur-of-the-moment sort of thing. I don't know why I felt like... I just felt like doing this. But I ended up doing a full playthrough. Uh, full story playthrough, so uh, that's pretty cool. So at least that's what it's worth. Um, I checked out a little bit of versus mode and survival mode. Those both kind of sucked. Survival, I guess, the, the, their attempt of creating replay value to the game. Uh, great graphics, story's pretty okay. Uh, gameplay has a lot to be desired. Um, so for sure, uh, there's no need to, to go out and get this game unless you just want to collect it. I got this for ten bucks. Uh, it, it was a fun little arcade game to play. Just like for like a quick minute um but uh yeah i would recommend if, if you're just interested in the story i just recommend <laughs> i would honestly just recommend watching on youtube or whatever kind of like what you're doing now um but uh yeah thanks for everybody watching uh if you're in the chat uh what's up chat thank you guys uh for checking out the premiere of this really appreciate you guys i don't know who's here or what um or how many people are here watching uh, it's just pretty laid back playthrough uh but hopefully he was able to if you got you guys at least got to see the game so um with that said guys thank you so much for watching showtime and checking out